Então, está lá. Sua mãe leva o pai. Marcela, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. And you? Just fine, just fine. Thank you. How was your day? Well, it was a little bit busy and tired. Oh, really? But now I'm, I'm happy to be here. It's like I uh, relax. Something like that. <laughs> that's nice. That's nice. So, where do you work? Where? What? Where do you work? Well, I live in Zacatecoluca. And what do you do? Where do you work? Um, what do you, where I work or work? Work. Work. Um, I I work on a, in a lawyer office. Is that the correct okay. word? To say? Yeah, you could say that. Okay, I I work on in an office lawyer lawyer office, and I'm just an assistant now. But you know, it's like I'm secretary and the assistant because I am studying also uh, to be a lawyer too. And yeah, you're studying law. Yes, and sometimes I I do some things as a lawyer because my my boss, eh, most of the time, tell me you will be. That's why you need to to, to talk to the eh, customers, things like that. Okay, interesting. Very, very interesting. And tell me, how long are you going on your career? Where eh, this year I'll I'll be in my fifth year. Oh. You're almost done. Yes. Yes, almost. But you know, uh, um, maybe it, it's not the, only this year because even if um, I'm getting good grades, the process after the five, the, the five years is like some, it's long. It's long than, than we expect. expect. Yes, but, well, but I, I trust that maybe in two years I will get it. Right. Let's hope so. Thank you very much for chatting with us and welcome to the class. Let's see, Daniel. Hello, Daniel. How are you? Perhaps Daniel is a little bit busy. Janira. Asensio, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you, Yanira? I'm well. What about you, teacher? How was your day? Uh, you know, just going around, running some errands, working, working, and same old stuff. What about <laughs> you? Tell me what's new. Same like you, work, work, and work. Uh, yeah. But the, the difference is that you're making big bucks. Oh, Jesus, come on, teacher, you're yeah, right. That's the difference. I have a lot of work, bucks. but no, a lot of money. I have a lot of work and a lot of debts. Ah, yeah, right. Yeah, I do, I gotta pay a lot of stuff, man. And nowadays, you know, uh, nowadays uh, the cost of life is so expensive. Ooh, yeah, the cost of life is very high. For example, really high. the cheese in this day is very high. Really? I don't need that much cheese. Really? Yeah, yeah. because you don't like it pupusas. No, of course not. Come on, teacher. 
I love it. Pusas Pusas. Not for me. Yes, I know. Mm. No, but you know, let's see. Yeah, everything is expensive. I mean, you go to the supermarket and you suffer. Yes, it's very expensive. If you have one hundred dollar, you buy uh, some stuff in Jesus more than one hundred dollar. Jesus, come on. Yeah, I mean, for example, you, the last, you can just buy a few a few things. Yes, the last week I was sick and I, I need to to bought uh, a lot of medicine and I how do you say gasted? Pen. Pen. Pay. Spend. Spend. I spend around one hundred dollar only in medicine. Jesus. And now getting sick is expensive. Yeah. Getting sick but, is really, really expensive. But you know, there's no way out of it. Yeah, it's necessary to get um, healthy again. Then I paid a lot of money for that. But that's the way of life, you know. What can we do about it? You just yeah. gotta work more. Yeah, we need work more for get more money. <laughs> To get. get. To get more money. To get more money. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Hey, Frank. How are you? Hi, teacher. Very good. Uh, same old as you, just working, doing some stuff going around and I just finished a little, a little bit workout and I mean, just that very, very quiet, very, very, um, very, yeah, very, excuse me, what, what is, um, very calm day, yeah. Very calm day, yeah. That's the yeah. term. Yeah, you know, that's the way. Sometimes we got slow days, and sometimes there are hectic days. Yeah, yeah. All good. Well, but the good thing is that you're here. In yes. Yes. So, and tell me, uh, when is your day off? Uh, weekends? Do you work all week or weekends also? Uh, I work uh, during the week, uh, all days, and just the weekends is, are my, my free days. Oh, yes. Okay. So I work. I don't have an an specific schedule, but I mean, I some some days I start to work at eight or seven a.m. and some days I finish to work about seven or eight or eight or six p.m. It's very yeah, I don't know how to say variable. It's correct. Variable. Variable. Yeah. Okay. It's variable, but in, during the week, I work the five days in the week. Yes. But okay. uh, I. I'm, I'm always trying to, to have some time to do my, my stuff, like doing some workouts and, and try to improve uh, my knowledge in, in different areas, right? 
Yeah, the language is good. I mean, the, the like English, English class. class. Yeah, it's a good example. Hey, Frank, thank you very much for sharing and welcome to the class. Let's see. Jose Wilfredo, hello, how are you? Yeah. Hello, teacher. Hello. I'm here. Hello, how are you? Oops, I guess we're having so far. So... Hello, hello. Hello, I can hear you. Okay. So far, so good, teacher. Today was my Friday, so tomorrow I will rest. So that's why I'm happy. I'm not happy with the selector, but oh, it's the did same. Use again? It's the same. All the time is the same. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. Yeah, but so far, so good, teacher. What about you, teacher? Well, you know, here working as usual, same old story. Just dealing with different stuff all around the day, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. well, it's just okay. And tell me, what's the plan for tomorrow? I don't know, teacher. Maybe I go to the beach with my family. Uh, oh, but in the weekend or tomorrow? No, tomorrow. Oh, really? The weekend it's I have true. to work. Yeah, the weekend oh, yeah, I have yeah, to work. Yeah, that's why I'm. Yeah, yeah. That's why I make a plan go to the beach maybe okay. tomorrow. Okay. But that's cool. <clears throat> yeah, but first we have to to make a test. To, to know if we are positive or negative of a COVID. Oh, okay. but we don't feel any, any symptom, but we have to. Better safe than sorry. Yeah, that's right. But that's, that's our, those are my plans. Well, that's cool. Thank you very much for sharing and welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Let's see, Rebecca. Hello, Rebecca. Rebecca Montarosa. Yes, good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? I'm doing okay. Just arriving to my house. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. That's cool. What time did you finish yeah. working? At 7 p.m. Ouch. So, How long does yes, it take uh, you to get home? Yeah, so an hour is an announce for, um, for me because I work in Colón Escalón and I live in Soyapango. So it's a long way to travel. Well, actually, but you make good time if you make it in one hour. Yes, kind of, but I'm a little tired. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. Okay, I will let you breathe because then we are going to start with some activities. Welcome to the class. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let's see, Roxana. Hello, Roxana. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm just fine. Thank you. So far, so good, you know. Come on, you go like, I'm just fine. <laughs> yeah, because today it was a busy day. I need to solve a lot of cases. And I visited the, my son's school for some document. And I need to come back in the afternoon because uh, the administration is not open at the, um, no sé, la mediodía, at the noon, yes, no, sí? Yeah, noon. At noon, yeah. And I feel tired. You feel tired. But everything uh, is okay, I think. 
Okay, that's cool. That's cool. So you've been busy. Yeah, because uh, now my co worker is working in uh, physical activities, you know, yesterday I was talking about that. And I need to uh, continue along with the rest of the operation. So uh, okay. some sometimes it's hard because I have a lot of uh, emails and calls. And you know, it's complex, but in general, I think that it was a good day. My son is in class in the morning and I'm stressful because he always is next to me. And I need to hear that classes and I need to try to do my work. At the same time. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. fun. That's fun. Uh, it's, Lots it's of fun. <laughs> but yeah, the rest, but rest is okay. Well, it's good to know that you keep busy. Yeah. <laughs> this you week is my sure. previous to my closing, you know. Oh, so. it's going to be fun. Yeah, and I need to uh, check a lot of things and report and have some meetings, check some uh, changes in the system. So I'm busy this week. And the next, I think that is busy too. Okay, well, the good thing is that you got something to do. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you very much and welcome, Roxanne. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see, let's see. Amber, hello, Amber, how are you? Hello, teacher, <clears throat> I'm fine, what about you? I'm hello. Just fine, just fine, thank you very much for asking. And tell me, how was your day? My day uh, was very quiet because I don't have a lot of clients to attend, but I hope tomorrow will be better than today. <clears throat> Let's hope so. Let's hope so. How are you doing with the with your goal? Are you close to getting? Yes, I I am I am reach my goal since 20 January January 20 but I need to more sales <laughs> okay well that's good that's good that's good yes okay excellent it's good to have you here in class also welcome to the class Amber thank you teacher okay let's see Who else do I have here? Alfredo Guardado, hello, how are you? Hi teacher, how are you? I'm just fine, just fine, what about you? Nice. <laughs> Resting on now, aún? Still. You say? Still, I'm still, I, I always, I, I forgot this word teacher. That, that happens, that happens. Home. But so I, you're, you're happy with your selector, right? Oh, they play very well. As um, did they? Let, let, let me let me say in Spanish, jugaron como nunca. They play as an ever, or, or, or how do you say in English? Let's play uh, as good as ever. As good as ever, but lost 
como siempre. As usual. <laughs> yeah, but they play nice, teacher, but United States have a, has a, a good, good team. A good team. Yeah. Yes, yes. But they play nice, imagine. but yeah. uh, so sad because uh, as a, as a fans, we always hope that the, the team uh, all the select win the match, but they play well. I can imagine, I can imagine. But the good thing is that you are always with, with a good attitude, and I am happy to see yes. that you are improving on your health. That's excellent. Welcome to the class, Wilfredo. Yes. Thank you, teacher. Let's see, guys. Well, 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 well. Let me get the attendance. By the way, do you remember that yesterday I asked you to remember something funny? Do you remember what I what I was telling you yesterday? If I'm not mistaken, and let me check. I ask you to what is the funniest thing you have ever seen? Remember the question that I gave you at the end of the class? We're gonna start with that. Okay. Yes, teacher. Erwin, I got you. Okay, Let me get the attendance before. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present, teacher. Erwin Francisco Lopez Rojas. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present, teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorte. Present. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present teacher. Nuria Elizabeth López Perlera. Rebeca Yasmín Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Wilman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Janira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present. Marcela Noemí Batres Monterrosa. Present. And Walter Mauricio Morales Arauco. Present teacher. Excellent, excellent. Okay, guys, let's see, let's see, let's see. The question, the first question yes, from yesterday is, what is the funniest? What is the funniest thing you have? ever seen okay guys that's the first question what is the funniest thing you have ever seen that's from yesterday do you remember i left it to you as a homework so what are we going to do right now i'm going to divide you in a small group so you can go and talk with your classmates and tell them you're going to have seven minutes for this activity okay explain be clear and concise because i'm going to ask you about your classmates okay let's do it Groups are created. Let's uh, let me see. Let's jump in.
outfit? Sorry? Did the cat uh, eat the, the shrimps? Yeah, because in the first time I was telling you that the cat, it, he was um, sleeping, but they were, um, he, he was, sorry, he was uh, tasting in his dream, yeah. maybe. But then uh, he, up, he, he was opening the eyes and looking for the shrimps. Um, I understand. And what about you? What is the funniest thing you, you have ever seen? <laughs> I had a, a 10 or 13 years. My sister and me. Uh, but I saw a video, I watched a video in WhatsApp uh, about some girls. Uh, a child really uh, was running in a machine and she changed the speed and began to run and her father saw that situation and run to, to, help, to, to help her. Run. Run. Was very funny. And the text in the video say, if you if you uh, love you you go to the what do you say in fear no teacher hell hell, hell. <laughs> but i i can stop to 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 loud <laughs> was very funny what about you guys in my case I don't remember the funniest thing but maybe will be Bananeros video <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I don't know you watch the videos of Bananero it's un Uruguay <laughs> uh, he, he make parodies about movies, for example, Harry Potter, El Señor de los Anillos, and so funny. It's a black humor, but it's good. <laughs> okay. Nice. And you, Francisco? Okay, uh, I try to, to uh, uh, tell the history. <laughs> Uh, when I uh, study in the uh, teacher, how do you say bachillerato or lo equivalente al bachillerato? High school. High school. High school. Yeah. When I, I am uh, studying in the uh, high school uh, uh, with my brother, uh, uh, we uh, going to uh, San Miguel to uh, uh, other other uh, other high school. I I heard I heard about it. Okay. Well, in that in that, that moment, it uh, it came an stand-up artist to Salvador. From Mexico, he call it Franco Escamilla. I don't know if you if you know if you know him. Yeah, yeah, I know him. It's very famous in YouTube and the social mm -hmm. networks. Yeah. yeah. In so, Facebook. yes, in Facebook too. So he came to El Salvador in 2019, and I went with my cousin. Uh, to that show and it was very very funny show because I mean I re I like to very very much uh, the, the, the 
the comedy of, of that of that person and he told a lot of jokes about some stuff uh, that we we have here in El Salvador and the way that we talk between us uh, for example among, he, among he, us among among us okay among us for example he he told a joke about how to use how we use the word chero and how to the difficult for for range people to to use it and like us and it's very funny joke uh, you could you could see it in, in youtube and i mean there was uh, a lot of laughing in that shows and the shows uh, it was about more than an hour i think so it was very funny and the recent in the recent time is recently that in recently is the experience that i that i i remember uh, like the funniest thing i i recently seen right so what about you fernando uh, in my case by the way I, I have seen that that show in in facebook in Okay. Social media. It's okay. Funny. Yes, it's very funny. In my case, I don't know, maybe it's a movie. Uh, okay. For example, Rush Hour. Rush Hour? Yeah, Rush Hour. No, I, a movie I... with Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker. Oh, okay. It's, <laughs> it's not Rush, they are new Rush. School, right? Rush, Rush Hour. Uh, rush, rush hour. Yeah, in, in Spanish is una pareja explosiva. Yeah, I know the way they translate. Kind of yeah. weird, right? Yeah, yeah, right. I know. I know it. Yes. How, how do, <laughs> how do you translate the, 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 the name, teacher? Rush hour. Oh, la hora pico. Oh, okay. Yeah, rush hour. It's a saga. Yeah, oh, I, I know. I, a, a trilogy, I think. But do it's, you? It's, it's a funny movie. It's a funny movie. And the the scenes are hilarious. And the joke and I don't know. I like you it. Rec you recently see it? You recently saw it? Oh no, no. Okay, guys, let's see. Hmm, got more people. Excellent. This is just great. Just let me check on something, please. Just for a second.
Okay, guys. Well, 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 well. Let's see. Uh, I hope you have fun listening to some of the stories. I was listening to some of them. They were kind of interesting. But right now we are going to go work with the manual for a little while because we need to do an exercise there. And the first exercise we are going to be working from the manual is in page number 11. And there's a conversation. Uh, it's a very short conversation, so we are going to watch it, practice it quite fast. Okay, guys, let me share with you. And here we go. Okay, remember, this is the manual from Insafor. We are working in page number 11. Ed and Philip are discussing the sales of their ice cream. Take turns practicing the conversation with a partner. Okay, and the conversation goes like this. The business is going well. I never thought our ice cream will sell like this. Yeah, the booth is always packed with people. We have to set our own ice cream shop. We don't know anything about running our own store. Let's ask the manager at the ice cream shop downtown. Certainly, he will want to buy our incredible ice cream. I repeat, the business is going well. I never thought our ice cream will sell like this. Yeah, the booth is always packed with people. We have to set our own ice cream shop. We don't know anything about running our own store. Let's ask the manager at the ice cream shop downtown. Certainly, he will want to buy our incredible ice cream. Okay, guys, let's see. And right now, you are going to practice. You are going to be working with the same people you did the previous exercise, okay? So, for this practice, is pretty short, just two minutes, okay? Two minutes, gonna be enough. Hurry up, guys.
Okay, let's just give them 60 seconds more. Okay, guys, let's see. That's nice. I got a lot of people here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm. Who's going to start? Wilfredo Guardado and Frank, you are going to start. Uh, Wilfredo, you start, please. Okay. Um, a business going well. I never thought our ice cream will sell like this. Yeah, the booth is always packed with people. We have to set our own ice cream shop. We don't know anything about running our own store. Let's ask the manager at the ice cream shop downtown, certainly. He will, he will want to buy our incredible ice cream. Perfect. Just Frank, packed, packed. Packed. Yeah, remember, okay. whenever you got ED after the letter K, the okay. ED is pronounced as a T, okay? Packed. Okay, packed. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Now, thanks to you. Walter and let's see, Stephanie. Mm -hmm. Walter, you are going to start. Okay, teacher. The business is going well. I never throw all ice cream. Well, so like this. Yeah, the boat is always packed with people. We have to set our own. own uh, <laughs> our own ice cream shop. We don't know anything about grinding or own story. Let's ask the manager at the ice cream shop downtown. Certainly, he will want to buy our incredible ice cream. Okay, let's see. Daniel. Yeah, teacher. Okay, you and Roxana. 
You start, Daniel. Okay. The business is going well. I never thought our ice cream will sell like this. Yeah, the booth is always packed with people. We have to set our own ice cream shop. We don't know anything about running our own store. Let's ask the manager at the ice cream shop downtown. Certainly, he will want, <coughs> pardon, <clears throat> He will want to buy our incredible ice cream. Okay. Perfect, Daniel. Perfect, Roxana. Roxana, just a little thing. Packed. 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 Yes. Packed. And okay. Certainly. 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 Like that. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Thanks to you. Let's see. Uh, uh, uh. Erwin, could you solve the problem? I think no. Okay, now Marcela and Rebecca. Okay. Marcela, you start. The business is going well. I never thought our ice cream will sell like this. Yeah, the bot is always packed with people. We have to set our own ice cream shop. We don't know anything about running our own store. Let us the manager at the ice cream shop down, downtown. Suddenly, he will want to buy our incredible ice cream. Perfect. Uh, Rebecca, just one thing. Booth. 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 Perfect. Thank you very much. Jose Wilfredo. Let me know, teacher. Oh, there you are. There you are. Let's see. Jose Wilfredo and Marta. Jose Wilfredo, would you mind starting, please? Okay. Okay. Perfect. The business is going well. I never thought, but or ice cream will sell like this. Yeah, the food is always packed. We have to set our own shop. We don't know anything about running or own store. Let's ask the manager at the ice cream shop downtown. Certainly. He will want to buy our incredible ice cream. Perfect, guys. Thank you very much. Let's see. Nicolas, are you ready? Yes, I am ready. Perfect. Nicolas and Nuria. Nicolas, you will start. The business is going well. I never thought our ice cream will sell like this. Yeah, the booth is always packed with people. We have to set up, set our own ice cream shop. We don't know anything about running our own store. Let's ask the manager at the ice cream shop downtown. Certainly he will want to buy our incredible ice cream. Okay, Nuria, pat, pat. Pat, 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 pat. 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 B O O T H. No, 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 no. Pat, pat. The boot is always pat. Okay. Pat. Remember, oh. I'm sorry, pat. I will switch into Spanish just for a second. Uh, solo un segundo. ED después de K siempre es pronunciada como una T. ¿Ok? Ok. ED después de K. Ok. Yes. Thank you, okay. teacher. Thanks to you. Shanira and Francisco. Francisco, you start, please. Yeah. 
see, teacher, uh, give me a second. Okay, the business is going well. I never told for ice, ice cream will sell like this. Yeah, the box is always packed with people. We have to set our own ice cream shop. We don't know anything about opening our own, own store. Let us the manager at the ice cream shop downtown. Certainly, he will want to buy our incredible ice cream. Okay, perfect. Uh, Ambar and Fernando, please. Ambar, you start. One moment, please. No problem. <clears throat> Okay, the business is going well. I never thought for ice cream would sell like this. Yeah, the book is always packed with people. We have to set our own ice cream shop. We don't know anything about running our own, um, our own store. Let, let's ask the manager at the ice cream shop down. Certainly, he will want to buy our incredible ice. Perfect. Uh, Ambar, just remember, our own, our own. Our own. Our like that. own. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Osorio. Hi, teacher. Okay, let's see, Mr. Osorio. Who's going to help you? Maria Alejandra, are you ready? Yes, teacher, I try. Okay. Okay, Maria Alejandra. You start, Maria Alejandra, please. Okay. The business is going well. I never threw or I drink ice cream will sell like this. Yeah. The booth is always packed with people. We have to set our own ice cream shop. We don't know anything about running our outdoor. Let's ask the man manager at the ice cream shop downtown. Certainly, he will want to buy our incredible ice cream. Perfect. Just perfect. Okay. Now, guys, uh, now we are going to... Ooh, yes. Let's see. Hold on just a second. Now we are going to go right now to a little bit of discussion again with some of the questions like we did yesterday. And then we are going to check a grammar point from the manual that is going to be very, very interesting. I know you will like it. Okay. Let me see. Okay, I got two questions for you right now that you are going to discuss with your group. The first question is, do you think that computers will be smarter than humans one day? Then, who do you think is the greatest person in history? Okay, those questions you are going to discuss with your partners in the groups. Okay. Let me recreate the groups. Let's see. Just give me a second. Perfect. Please jump in. You will have five minutes for this activity. Just five minutes. Hurry up. Teacher. Yes. Hello. 
la mano. Oops, they left you I'm waiting for him. I don't know who is my partner. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's do something. Let me check on something. Let's see. Okay. Let me see, let me see. I'll send you to another group, okay? Okay. Uh, and artificial intelligence fast, maybe faster, as you say, but maybe because they don't have like, um, how do you say that, like awareness, this mm -hmm. old knowledge, but it's smart. I don't know, <laughs> but yeah. I think maybe no. It's kind of like yes. Or not, and not because they they don't have this awareness, but they have our knowledge on the internet. Yes, I agree with you. Yeah, and I think the computers depend totally to the humans because the human the humans create the different computer and the humans create the different intelligence for that. So. For example, if a computer start to fail, to to yes, to fail, the the human have to repair. The computers doesn't have the the ability to repair by by, by themselves still, and I think they never will have that that ability. Also, yes. some yeah. some fixing yes, some computers have ability. I available for, for fixing, but not all books. Then I I depends I, to the software. Yeah, it's a pen off. Uh -huh. Yes, maybe the computers, I think maybe they can be like fast and have our knowledge, but I think um they can't be better than us because uh, they depend from us and they have, I maybe mean, the most important is that the computers and all these kind of things can't have feelings and these kind of mm -hmm. things maybe for that. That's true. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> we can change to the, another question because it's a question for a long discussion. Yeah, because feelings yeah. sometimes are like a, yeah, like an obstacle. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Productive. I is is right to say awareness, like um, yeah. conscience. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, maybe maybe for that because they have our knowledge on the internet. I think they have a lot of kind of things from us, yeah, but you know the problem. They miss that. It yeah. that. Janita is, she agrees that computers are going to be smarter. <laughs> Not really, teacher. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I love, I, love, I, love the, I, love the, I love the technology, but I know that uh, it's not the most important. Yeah, you're right. Okay, yeah. ladies, I'll let you keep on discussing. I'll go check another group. Okay, bye, teacher. Bye. Who do you think is great person? It's a, it's a very hard question. Yeah. Which one? Uh, the second who is, the, the, who is the, the greatest person in history? <laughs> well, if you're a Christian, you could say Jesus. Yes. Yeah. It's, the a safe, obvious, it's a safe answer, right? Yes, the obvious answer will be Jesus, but... <laughs> But, yeah, not, not, but not, re, not religion in this class. <laughs> yeah, okay. No religion, not religion. Not, yes. not religion. Not but hey, hey guys, yesterday I was yeah, because I when was, I see when I see Wilfredo with the big bird, I think, oh well, he could say like a 
<laughs> Marks. Another, yeah, you know. No, no. I'm kidding. For, for I'm kidding. me, I'm kidding. kidding. <laughs> for me, Jesus. But yesterday, I, I, I was checking a, a report about Nelson Mandela, Gandhi. They, they were very, very nice people. Yes. Right? People because yeah. they they have to, to fight with the uh, el sistema with the system. System. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. But they, I I think like Martin it, Luther King. Yes. Another yes. people. They were in, in the top three. <laughs> yes. Certainly. And and a, and a favorite person for the teacher Santa Claus. <laughs> Santa Claus. <laughs> Santa Claus. Well, you know, it depends on the country. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If you have to to name someone, what? Who? Me? Or who? Uh, the three, the three, uh, mm -hmm. uh, all the group, right? <laughs> for you, you to name someone for me, oh, uh, complex. The greatest for you. It's very complex because I mean. Uh, to be honest with you, uh, my 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 most honest answer will be depending on the moment in history. Yes, depending on the moment in history, because I mean, if you go pretty backwards, you could say Alejandro Magno. He made a lot. He he conquered a lot. And he was very young at the time. And, yes. and then you got people like Gandhi, Mandela. And I mean, depending on the moment and depending on the social situation of the, of the country or perhaps the continent at the time. Yeah, I agree with you. It's a very complex question. And it's a... Uh, the safe answer or, or the most correct answer, I think it's 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 that. I, I think that it's time. Okay, guys, let me get the, the attendance and then we are going to do the activity, the practice. Let's see, Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Thank you, my dear. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Uh, Erwin Francisco Lopez Rojas. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Thank you. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Anabelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present teacher. Nuria Elizabeth López Perlera. 
I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Rebecca Jasmine Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Iveda Sencio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Wilman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Chanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present. Marcela Noemí Batres Monterrosa. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Excelente, excelente. Teacher, una, una, una pregunta. Ya está. Este, cada semana usted hace el cierre de, de las tareas. En este caso sería el de lunes, el cierre de esta semana. Monday. Monday. Oh, ok, thank you. You're welcome. No problem. No problem. Now, guys, let's see. Well, let's have fun a little bit. Ok, let's see. We are going to discuss. Roxana, tell me, do you think that computers will be smarter than humans one day? Yeah, I'm agree with uh, the um, with idea. That statement. Because, mm, okay, yeah, because uh, yeah, because now I think that uh, some countries such as United States, Russia, and China maybe are working in some robots or something like that, and you know, it is. It will be so smart. Okay, interesting. Okay, Shanira, do you agree with Roxana or do you disagree? I disagree with her. Okay, tell me why. Because I I think that the computer uh, someday maybe they they will be smarter than us. No, faster than us, but no smarter. Okay, faster than us, but not smarter. Okay, excellent. Marta, what do you think about it? I think so is, is probably because the, um, for example, intelligent artificial, I don't know how do you say, but yeah. it is uh, it's possible. Okay, you think it is possible. Fernando, what should you take into this discussion? Tell me. Oh, I think that it's not impossible. I think that in the future, it will, is there a chance that computer will be smarter than us? Because the artificial intelligence has important advanced uh, nowadays. So it's possible. Okay, perfect. It's okay, thank you. Okay, now let's see. I got um, another question for you, but this one is going to be discussed in a different way. Let's see. Teacher, sorry. <clears throat> yes, tell me, Nicolas. Uh, can you put the question on WhatsApp, please? The next questions, please. In the next, in, eh, no las, las que vaya a, a, a preguntar posteriormente, por favor. Okay. Well, I this have one actually, I ha, I, yeah, I understand I have you, I understand you. Computer. I understand you. Okay, but this one, I am not going to text it. I'm just going to sell it, to say it. Okay, let's see, let's see. Frank. Tell me, tell me. Tell me, do you think life was better or worse in the past well in in so many ways i think it was better in the past because uh, the life uh, well my fathers told me that the life was more easier than nowadays and the cost of the life was cheaper was cheaper okay. too than than those days and that is a fact right <laughs> because the life uh, actually is, is very expensive and okay. the opportunities 
I think the opportunities to to reach the goals that the people uh, uh, was focused. I don't know if aim for aim for okay aim for uh, the the that goals are are possible to reach and those days uh, even if you are professional and, and you have a lot of opportunities sometimes it's very difficult to reach the personal goals right like okay. <laughs> like have an a no house or <laughs> a, yeah, I a understand car. You. So I for me, I understand you completely. It was better <laughs> in the past. Yes, for me, yes. Okay, perfect. Just one little thing, Frank. You sell more cheaper. The expression is cheaper, just like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> yes. No problem. No problem. Well done. Well done. Actually, let's Thank see, you. Jose Osorio. Hello, teacher. Do you think life was better or worse in the past? Tell me, mister. And I think it actually it's better the education because in the past uh, you need to to buscar teacher, se me ha ido la palabra. I'm sorry? Buscar, se me olvidó. Looking, look uh, for, uh -huh, look for some information, and uh, you need to to visit the Casa de la Cultura, <laughs> and and check the disponibility of some books. And today, availability, the internet, availability, 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 teacher. Thank you. I get it. Uh, uh, this to some books, and currently it's better because the internet. Uh, uh, provide all the information around the world. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Now let's see. Marcela, what do you think? Was life better or worse in the past? I think maybe it was nice. It was better the past because well the way that my the last class classmate talked about uh, dedication, I think was better because um, maybe the students now we have the computers we have cell phones and the information in, in our hands, but in, in the past when we needed to go to look and read all the book to look for just a topic and maybe we we learn more than now and that's why the dedication was better was better than now and now with the with this virus we know we know the education is we are not doing the job that we have to do in in classes before before these two years. And that's why I think it was better the past. Okay, interesting, thank you. And let's see, one last person. Marta, what do you think? Do you think life was um, better or worse in the past? Well, teacher, uh, I think so is, um, is very important in each time. Um, many things good, but many things bad in in all the time. I don't know. Um, it's, it's very important to enjoy good moment and. Uh, the bad moment happened uh, before actually each each how do you say temporada teacher each season 
Temporal, oh, season, yes. Oh, yeah. Each season is a uh, wood, but um, wood. Okay, thank you. I understand you. Now, guys, uh, next question for you. Oops, I got a mistake here. Just give me a second that I'm texting it. Also in the also. What is the best modern invention? Okay, guys. What is the best modern invention? Now, I am giving you this question. I am going to send you to working groups. You're going to say for you personally, which one do you think is the best? modern invention and you are going to uh, explain why okay so i need you to elaborate on your answer i need an explanation let's go to the groups you are going to have just five minutes so i need you to be straight and concise because you're going to be working in some cases in big groups so i need you to please be fast just five minutes hurry up Let's see, Erwin, where are you going? Where are you going? Hey, hello, teacher. Hello, hello. I'm just sending you to a group. Hold on, give me a second. Okay. Here you go. You. you got it? Perfect. And, with, and uh, for example, uh, to study what serious work work on spreadsheets on many yeah. application um, GPS for real location, location. Mm -hmm. massaging uh, electronic books, uh, listen to music and 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 can be managed. Uh, bank account yeah. and 
Do you have a lot of options? Yes. For me, it is, it is the best invention. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. what about you, Ana Belinda? For me, too, the smartphone is the, is the best modern invention. Uh, it's, 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 it's very important for me, for my work, for my uh, communication with my family, with my friends. Uh, it's very important for study. Uh, listen to music is 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 very important in my life. I I I really like listen to music. Um, uh, find all topic uh, about the you know. Um, is is accessible. I don't know if, uh, how do you say accessible, bro. It's practice for for the size. Um, I don't know. It's it's for me. It's the best modern invention. My point of view about that is that I think that you you both are talking about the smartphone, but it's focusing internet because you are talking about a specific uh, topic, uh, internet, uh, Netflix, um, texting, or something that you need to have connection. So it's more than um, have a um, smartphone. A so smartphone it, is you, in, in, implicit, so I don't know how yeah, to use mm, it. Yeah, mm. I, I, don't, I don't think so, because you, maybe you have a smartphone, but you don't have internet. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, it's totally different if you have internet in your smartphone or you, ha you just have a smartphone. Because if you don't have internet, you just uh, send some uh, texts or doing some calls, but you don't have uh, apps, you don't have uh, Netflix, for example, you don't have a lot of things that you, you need. For example, you don't have mm. uh, a escritorio remoto, I don't know, no sé cómo se dice. So you, you need mm -hmm. to have a connection. For your work, but you if internet. you excuse me, Roxana, but if you download some series on Netflix, it's possible to watch without connection. Mm -hmm. In, in my point of view, discharge. It, to, to, to yeah, you need it. to discharge, um, yeah, but you need yes. to use internet to do that, uh -huh. yes, yes. Uh, so maybe it's my point of view, it is I uh, see the, the the smartphone like an extension of the functions of the computer. Uh, yeah. That's how I see it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the internet is <laughs> is, it's is mandatory to have. Uh -huh. You're right in, in in that case. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. I, I just, it's my point of view. Mm -hmm. yeah, you're right. I agree with you. So I prefer I my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I was so saying that for me, the best. Because with your phone, you, you deliver the food, Rosanna. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah.
Okay. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who's gonna help me? Stephanie, tell me, what is the best modern invention for you? Mm -hmm. I I say, because I use uh, this little thing all the time and help me for the classes, I think the cell phone. <laughs> because the cell, phone. Uh, the cell phone, yeah, it's con and also I think it's connected with the internet because without internet, we can use the cell phone better. I think the cell phone because uh, the cell phone led us to keep in, in touch with the people in other countries and also help us maybe to the to our work, uh, to work online and to be on classes, to talk if we have any emergency with, with the hospital, with the people that we need in an exactly moment. I think it, the cell phone is, a uh, very good ocean. I know there is a lot of kind of things that can help us too, as the medicine, science, but <laughs> the first thing that I thought, <laughs> it was the cell phone. <laughs> okay, perfect, thank you very much. Now let's see, what is the best modern invention for you, Erwin? Hello, teacher. Um, I was talking with my partners that the modern life or the, the, the it's 200 years ago. It starts uh, 200 years ago. So we have a lot of inventions, uh, including the airplanes that this is my favorite, the airplanes in 1908. Um, maybe the IA, artificial intelligence, that was invented in 1955. Um, of course, the computer. But uh, all these are able in our cell phones too. <laughs> so it's uh, the, the best invention, maybe, the computer, the personal computers, and the cell phones. Okay. Perfect, thank you very much. Now let's see one last person. Wilfredo Guardado, what about you? What is the best modern invention for you? We were talking with Fernando and, and Frank. Um, I, I, told, I told them that yesterday I, I saw a report about a um, flight car or or a yeah. carro, yes, in Europe. Um, uh, they, they were talking about that it is um, enough safe to safe enough, safe, safe enough, yes, oh, okay, and then it is economic. But I, I told to Fernando in front that. For me, that that the the problem is going to be where I can get a part, but I don't know, whatever. But we told another another thing, and Fernando and Fran told me that for 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 them, the the best or or, 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 or lately, tell me. Uh, I'm sorry. What's the invention? I, I can fly car. Flying. Flying car. Flying car. Ah, okay. Okay. Flying. okay. But it is very interesting. Very interesting because they yeah. talk very, very nice about this invention. But um, my my classmate told me too that for them it is the Tesla car. And for Fernando told me that internet too, because we can we can do many, many activities using internet. Okay, perfect, thank you. Welcome to you. Now guys, let's go next activity. Let's see, oh, here. 
Okay, we'll go back to the manual. Now, we got here expressions of certainty. Look at examples in the box, then complete the exercises below. We're talking about page number 12, okay? Now, expression of certainty appear before the main verb in a sentence, but after the auxiliary verb. Look, before the main verb in a sentence, but after the auxiliary verb. The investor is certainly coming tomorrow. In this case, you see, is is the auxiliary verb. Coming is the main verb of the sentence, okay? You say the investor is coming tomorrow. The investor is certainly coming tomorrow. The managers obviously choose the wholesale approach to distribution. Now, in close, of course, and in all likelihood, in commas, when they occur in the middle of the sentence. The investment meant, of course, a pay, rise, a pay raise for the employees. Ed and Philip are in all likelihood ready to make their business grow. In this case, you see, they have to be enclosed between commas. Why? Because they are in the middle of a sentence. Sometimes expressions of certainty can be placed at the beginning of the sentence. You got surely, the managers will know how to arrange for distribution. Doubtless, the shipment will arrive on time. And you see, in these cases, we got a comma. This is, these expressions can also be used at the end of a sentence. Partnering with a retailer will help us reach many more customers, obviously. So they can go, as you see here, Certainly, obviously, uh, after the auxiliary, before the main verb. In the case of, of course, and in all likelihood, in this case, they got enclosed by a comma. They can come at the beginning or they can come at the end. If you notice, when they come at the beginning, they are separated from the sentence by a comma. The same goes at when they go at the end, okay? You got the comma before it. Now, your activity. You have the, to divide the list into categories. Words that express certainty and those that express uncertainty. So this is the activity for right now. And let me get the picture for you so you can do it fast. Okay, just in a second. You will have just three minutes for this activity. Okay, guys, let's go to the groups. Three minutes. You just have to divide them certainty, uncertainty.
Naturally. Uh -huh. Apart, no, um, of course, mm -hmm. uh, and obviously. Only yes, certainly. Apparently. Apparently, Kevin. Apparently. Apparently. Huh? Apparently. 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 So certainly, uh, apparently, no, Naturally. apparently is uncertainly. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, cer certain. Like, uh -huh. and I'm obviously. sorry, certainly. <laughs> yeah, obviously. <laughs> uh, let me put this on my notes. Uh, okay. Certainly, uh, what? Of course, of course, obviously. Yes, so certainly, naturally, of course, and obviously. All these words are central, certainly. Yeah, yeah. Naturally. So, yeah. suppose, supposedly, supposedly, supposedly. Yeah. Uh -huh. Suppose, apparently, apparently. I'm sorry? Supposedly. Supposedly, yep. possibly, apparently, yeah. apparently, 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 yeah. presumably, and doubt, doubtless, probably, doubt. and doubtless, doubtless. I think it's doubt, doubt. doubtless, doubtless, doubtless. Yes, yes like. Uh, like doubt, doubt. do that. <laughs> uh, doubtless. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. You I already it. wrote the words on my note. Me too. Uh, okay. Perfect. So how about? Hello, Janita. <laughs> Okay, guys, let's see. We are going to do this fast. Um, Erwin, please tell me the ones of certainty. Okay. Um, there are four words. Certainly, naturally. Hi. Hello? Continue, continue. Naturally, of course, and obviously. Okay, you're just missing one. There are five. Sorry. Mm, Certainly, naturally, of course, of course. Obviously, obviously, doubtless. Probably. Doubtless. Yes, hmm. sin duda alguna. Ah, okay. Okay. You see? Doubtless. It's, yeah, you're yes. certain. Yes. Okay. That means that uncertainty will be supposedly, possibly, probably, apparently, presumably, right? Okay, guys. Now, next activity, and we just have five minutes for this activity. I need you to, as groups, uh, divide them if you want, but I need one sentence per word, okay? So you're gonna create for me 10 sentences. So let's hurry up.
because I want those sentences. You are going to read them here in the group, but I want them also sent and shared to your classmates in the WhatsApp group, okay? So let's do it. If you want, you can type them or you can just write them on a piece of paper and take a picture. That's okay. Let's do it, please. Five minutes for the activity.
is your son. Excuse me. Uh, the only, boy is your son. Only, only example. Only example. <laughs> only example. <laughs> and the and the and the the example is uh, easy. For example. <laughs> yes. Yes. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Okay, okay, no problem. Okay. No problem. Okay, yeah. and you, Marina? What is your example? Maria Alejandra. Maria Alejandra. Ah, I yeah. possibly, I possibly, uh, I don't know. Okay. But naturally, uh, Could be. I think we can use at the last at the at the end of the sentence, right? Naturally. Naturally. Yes, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, it can be. Let me check. <laughs> like the the little dogs grows or grows with it needs to grow close to her mom naturally I don't know <laughs> I don't know if, it, if it's correct. I don't know how to say cachorros, little, little dog, doggies. No, puppies. 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 Puppies need to grow close to to their mom naturally. Uh, it's correct, teacher. Repeat, please. Puppies need to grow close to their their mom. Naturally. Obviously. No, the thing is this naturally. Uh, I mean. Let me try to give you an example. Naturally from nature. Not from nature. It's not from nature, I mean, uh, naturally, Wilfredo won't say anything about this topic because he understands everything, okay? Okay. Okay, very well done, teacher. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Uh, could be the, so the sentence. It's, it's naturally, but it's not about nature in this case. Okay. It's just that in Spanish, we don't use it that much that way. That's the difference. Mm -hmm.
Beautiful. Okay, guys. Before anything else, let me get the final attendance, please. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Thank you, Ambar. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez, no here. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. No, there's Daniel. Thank you. Uh, Erwin Francisco Lopez Rojas. Here. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Present. Thanks. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Nuria Elizabeth López Perlera. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Rebeca Yasmin Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Ibeda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Billman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Janira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present. Marcela Noemí Batres Monterrosa. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Okay, now guys. Uh, I know you did the exercise, but due to the time factor, we are not going to do it here. I need you to please, for tomorrow, individually, send me the 10 sentences. So you did already some with your group, but uh, you got two options. You send me the 10 sentences per group, it's okay. Or if you want to do it individually on your own, that's okay also, but I want to see those sentences because I'm going to be checking how do you use the vocabulary and that's going to help me to understand if you really got the idea of how to use the expressions or if perhaps I need to give more examples to you. So please, for tomorrow, I need those sentences. And particularly, I will be glad if you can send them like one, the latest one or two hours before the class. So I can check them out like slowly and be better prepared to help you if there's a need. Guys, thank you very much. It was a very good class. I hope to see you tomorrow. I know internet has been giving problems to all of you. I was checking the reports and a lot of people in classes, they have had big problems with connection, but uh, hopefully tomorrow we are going to have a better experience. Thank you very much for being here. I hope to see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Erwin, uh, you are not I, in the group? Uh, I think so. Because I can, I, I am not receiving the information. Okay, hold on. We will do something then. Just give me a second. Try to connect using the, the link I just sent you, please. Okay, there Thank you, you very go. much. You okay. are in the group right night. now. Same to you. Have a good night. Enjoy.
I'm gonna wait because Daniel was supposed to stay here, but she was driving.